up guys? Mike Gross here, rockandguitarlessons.com and youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1. That's Matchbox 20 with Disease. This is the acoustic version. Rob Thomas, very good songwriter. I like Smooth, man, what he did with Santana. Remember that? Very cool. So, um, you want a standard tune on this? He's using a capo on fret number two, starting with the E minor chord. I'll show you the intro, which is a cool little kind of Latin feel. And he's using the, the hammer-ons with the chords, and then I'll show you the next little part after, which is similar to the intro. Okay, so, um, go. You're going to hammer on to make it an E minor chord. So hit the E, A, and the D, and hammer on. We're going to call fret 4, fret 2, because the capo is going to be like uh, the opens, okay? So fret 2, and hammer on to the second fret, A, and D. And then strum after that, okay? And, and then you rest, and then you strum it again. Rest. Then, we're gonna go middle finger 2A, first finger 1D. And he's strumming E through B. You know, the high E might be in there occasionally. With acoustic stuff, you know, it, that stuff changes a little bit. Especially with strumming particularly, okay? So... Might have been better off to go middle finger 2A, third finger 2D, and it'll be set up a little better. I think that's how Rob Thomas does it actually, so. Oops. So when you hit that, go down, up, and then lift your middle finger off, and strum uh, A, D, G and hammer right back down to the second fret. And then go, see, up, down, up after that. Oops. I think I'm mixing two parts in here, dang it. But he'll do four times, the fourth one goes. And he'll, when he'll do the change, which is 2A, 1D, and just hits it once, two, three, four, then the vocals come in, it's... That's why I mixed it up. That hammer, the secondary hammer isn't done on the intro, just uh, the first hammer, the, with the E minor chord. So now we're going, hit the low E and then strum, you know, all five strings or six strings. Rest, hit them again. And then you switch to the 2A, 1D, and hit like E through G, E through B. Don't overanalyze the strings, because um, he's not staying super consistent on which strings he's strumming. Don't hit all six, though. So, okay, so you're going down, up, and then lift the middle finger off only. Do an upstroke, and hammer it back down, and then go up, down, up. So... Again. Then he goes to A minor. So middle finger 2D, third finger 2G, first finger um, 1B. And he'll lift it off to an A2. So it's like hit the A and then hit the A through the high E as a strum. And then an up stroke after that. Rest. So. And then the upstroke and then hammer on. When you hit that upstroke, lift, have your index finger lifted off and hammer it back down. And then up, down, up. So. So. Oops. Am I screwing that up too? Dang it. that works for you. There's a couple parts in there at the beginning of this lesson where I think I switched up those hammers a little bit. But you got the basic concept there, the E minor, you know, and you're going to the open 2-1, it goes through that again, and then you hit your A minor to the A2, back to the A minor, 
And that's the progression, basically, the verse where Rob Thomas is singing. If you have questions, man, which you might on this one, ask me and I'll, I'll clear it up for you. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too tricky. Make sure you're capoed on fret 2, make sure you're tuned up standard. Um, Mike Gross is my name. Watch my website, rockandguitarlessons.com. It's not launched yet, but it will be. I'll keep you posted on that. Hopefully uh, you become a member there. It's very affordable, $20 a month. Can't beat it. And it'll be more of a fine-tuned um, way to improve your playing and get you to the next level. Okay, and then what else was I going to say? YouTube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1. Um, if you're not subscribed, this is what I was going to say. Go subscribe. Um, I would sure do it in a heartbeat, man. If I had this in the 80s when I was playing, I would have loved this. Um, if you have questions, leave it on whatever lesson you're struggling with, and you may on this one, because I hope I didn't, didn't mess it up for you guys. Um, I hadn't heard the song either, um, dude, so, I mean, it's a really cool song. Actually, did I write the subscriber's name note? I'm supposed to be doing that now. Hold up, hold up. I didn't. It's not on there. Look at all those songs and requests. Both sides, and I have more papers. So anyways, you know who you are though, dude. And if you're here and you're not the one that subscribed, but you're here for a reason because you want to learn this song too. Comments are great. I always appreciate that. Um, requests, keep them coming. And I'll, get them, I'll keep them coming back at you, man. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll hook you up. Talk to you soon. I messed it up again. See, don't hammer there, just here. But not here. You know, it's, it's not how you start it. Or no, wait, it's not. It's how you start it and end it. It's not how it is in the in the middle. They say something like that. So if you go out with a bang and you get it right, it, it just everything else seems to be okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You get my point though. The hammer part was what I wanted you to catch there because when I first explained it earlier on in here, I was kind of putting the hammer in both parts, and I was supposed to be putting a hammer and a nail in. Both. See you guys.